All right, my friends, greetings, happy Sunday. Thanks for stopping by. So uh, we got Buddy out. He's crawling out from under the bed. He's going to help us out today. I want to show you something. Check this out. All right, so I had to flip that bed skirt up. So I've got a place cleared out here under the bed. It's more than enough room for the microwave. Um, I'm going to have probably about four inches more in width than I actually needed. So um, I've got other little crates and things I could fill up the gap with. So I'm going to mount the inverter over here on the left on this plywood. Uh, the inverter is coming in. I bought a 2000 watt pure sine wave from Home Depot. Um, I understand that you really need a pure sine wave if you're going to run a microwave, so I went ahead and got a good one. And uh, the best price I could find was from the Home Depot website, not on Amazon. So it'll mount somewhere over here. Um, I don't know where yet, but somewhere on that plywood right there on the left. And I'm going to have to have some, cord, some style of catch cord coming across here to keep things from sliding forward. I've just been taking some measurements and kind of figuring out what I'm going to do. That'll go back over on the other end over there and attach. I don't think I want to use a bungee because a bungee is going to stretch too much. I don't know how I'm going to be able to mount anything to the floor. You know, like a, a little uh, half inch board there to keep things from sliding. I think I'm just going to have to do a catch cord. Um, I do want a little bit of give. So if I slammed on the brakes, things would slide forward and hit the cord and stop. It's going to have to be a pretty strong cord. I could use this paracord, but I'd have to double it up just to keep things from sliding out from underneath the bed. I'll figure that out as I go along, but that's important, you know. You don't want things sliding out from under there. The bed is bolted down, so um, I could attach something along the rail here to catch it. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But this is going to work out. That's more than enough room. But I'm not going to install the microwave um, until I get everything here. You know, the inverter, I get figured out what I'm going to do to keep it from sliding forward. But I've just been spending a little time today doing what I really should have done a long time ago. I had too many crates under there without a lot of stuff in them you know a half full crate is a wasted crate so now I've got them packed down better less crates under there and more room oh and this cord running across here that's from the refrigerator it runs across there into the battery bank and uh, let's see what else we need to cover been kind of working on this battery bank cover this plywood box I pulled it forward a little bit toward the front of the van just to give me a little more room between this gray cabinet and the side of the bed I noticed the covers tend to pile up right there right in this little area here so I gave it a little more room there I think you can see my uh, Weirdos Unite sticker back there. Yeah, you can. That'll be proudly displayed um, when the weather gets warm enough to put the heater away for the, for the spring and the summer. I've already put away the electric blanket. It is right over there behind Buddy in that red and black thing there. That's the little... Um, a pouch it comes with. You just ball it up and stick it in there. Look at Buddy. Always supervising every time I'm out here doing work. Alright guys. Have a great Sunday. Take care. Be well. Smash the bell.